Human Elephant Conflict or HEC is a crisis in Sri Lanka impacting both the environment as well as the socio-economy. There are many reasons for the cause of HEC, but has climate change accelerated this feud? It indeed has. Human-induced climate change has caused abnormal and extreme weather conditions, the spread of invasive plant species and insect pests, as well as loss in harvest. This impacts both the humans as well as elephants. We discussed this matter with a pioneer scientist in Asian elephant research, Dr. Prithviraj Fernando. He is also the chairman of the Center for Conservation Research. We also spoke to Mr. Supun Lahiru Prakash, who is the director of Biodiversity Conservation and Research Circle of Sri Lanka. When looking at the population distribution of human versus elephants, 82% of the land is occupied by humans. Elephants range on 62% of the land. This means 44% of the land is shared both by humans and elephants. Dr. Prithviraj mentioned that protected areas in Sri Lanka does not carry sufficient dietary requirements for elephants. He also mentioned that Asian elephants are grazers, so they mostly rely on grasslands. The elephants in Sri Lanka are compelled to move out of these protected areas in search of grasslands. This causes the interaction between humans and elephants, which may lead to human-elephant conflict. Mr. Supun Lahiru Prakash mentioned that elephants prefer disturbed areas like abandoned chena huts, grasslands, and harvested paddy fields. This is because of easily accessible food, which is a scarcity in protected areas. He explained that adult male elephants mostly range within human habitation and causes most of the damage, while female elephants and calves remain in the wild. In the contrary, the elephants that do not come out of these protected areas may suffer malnourishment and ultimately end up dead. Droughts caused by climate change has also been a severe case of elephant deaths during recent time. HGC mostly occur in the dry zone of the country where droughts are more common. Mr. Prakash also mentioned that flash floods has been a cause of one to two elephant deaths annually. He also said that this is a cause for elephant deaths during recent time. Climate change causes changes in the vegetation which allows favorable conditions for invasive alien plant species to thrive. This is a problem in many protected areas, compromising the quality of the habitats, endangering the lives of many herbivorous animals, including elephants. Although renewable energy is a great solution to climate change, it needs to be carried out with extensive environmental impact assessments, which will rule out any damage caused to existing ecosystems and the social well-being. The Moragahakanda hydropower plant is one such example which has caused for the dispersal of the iconic elephant gathering in Minneria National Park. This has resulted in malnourished elephants and many HEC conditions in the surrounding villages. In the view of the current economic crisis in Sri Lanka, we cannot financially invest in mitigating adverse effects of climate change. However, what we can do is manage our microclimates locally, added Mr. Prakash. He further explained that due to the prevailing food crisis in Sri Lanka, people are tempted to clear forests for mass cultivations. What we need to realize and create awareness about is that deforestation may lead to more severe impacts of climate change which will result in intensified HGC. Within the years 2010 till 2019, a total of 14,516 incidents of HGC has been reported. A total of 807 human deaths, 507 human injuries and more than 10,000 damages to property. On the other hand, more than 2,000 elephants have been killed due to this conflict. So reducing the drivers of climate change may be a single yet powerful tool in combating human-elephant conflict.